hello guys welcome back to the channel so that this error i'm having here this is my wordpress website and i'm using the elementor page builder this is my other form my fluent form i just did an edit on my page and when i try to update the edit and this is what i get so you see server error 500 internal server error so this is actually an error and i'm going to be showing you how to solve this error in just few minutes all right if you're new to the page, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, like this video and share this video so that this video can also get to other people that are having similar challenges. This is your own way of helping to make sure this video reaches to other persons that may be having similar challenges. So let's be our brother's keeper, right? <laughs> Thank you. So you come to your WordPress dashboard, go to plugin, click on plugin. Then we need to install a new plugin. Come to this place, search for WP Optimize. So search for WP Optimize plugin. Look at the plugin here. Make sure it's this one by David Anderson. Click on install. We are going to wait for this plugin to install. After installation, click on activate. Now the plugin has been installed and activated in our WordPress website, but that's not all. You need to go to the plugin, come back again, click on plugins. Let's look for that plugin that we just installed. Here is a plugin. Click on optimize. Thank you for installing WordPress optimize. Then come down here. You need to run optimization for your database. Clean all post revision. Clean all auto drafts. Clean all trashed posts. Remove spam and trashed comments remove unapproved comments this this plugin is going to go to your database and check uh all these things that you'll see here total will be optimized 77 you see these are most of the issues that are causing that problem so you just need to look at this one remove expired transient i have just one out of 88 so i'm just going to check this okay i have one i have one track back I just check it make sure just any one you have this one i don't have any clean comment method i don't have any clear user metadata but these ones that i have as you can see i have one of these i have one of these one of these could be the problem i have one of these i have two of these and i have 773 of post revision in your database i have 77 here so i'm just going to check all of them make sure they are checked all right after checking all of them, go ahead and run all selected optimization. Click on run. So it's going to start running the optimization. Let's wait. This is completed. This is completed. This is completed. So we just wait for all of them to complete the running of optimization. This is completed. All is completed. And just this one is still running. So this optimization is just going to optimize your website, delete whatever. Sometimes some hackers send some code to your website. Your website begins to send out spam messages, you know, send out comments and all of that, which you may not be aware of. So you need to optimize your database and clear off all of those. Once that is done, everything is going to work perfectly fine so guys the optimization for all our selected options are completed so let's go back and check that error message again so i come back to my elementor page then i try to update this page once again and you can see it has been updated successfully and it is working so guys if this works for you please let us know in the comment section if you have any issue you'd like us to solve please comment it on the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share this video for others to benefit. Thank you. So guys, some of the reason why you're having that error could be, it could be a lot of reasons. It could be because of um, your server logs. It could be memory limits. It could be that you've hit your memory limits. It could do to uh, a lot of comment, a lot of posts. 
Now, you may not be the one posting or commenting or even sending out messages from your website. Sometimes some hackers could just send some malicious code to your website and then uh, it begins to malfunction. It happened to me as well. I stopped receiving emails from my WordPress website. So when I checked my cPanel, I discovered that my website has been spamming, sending out spam messages, and I didn't send any of them. So those were because of some um, some activities, some malicious activities on my website. So I had to, you know, install backup and all of that. So that could be the reason. So uh, if you're having limit, memory limits, then it could be that some sort of spam messages are coming into your website or even sending out just as you can see i had over 773 messages without even knowing another reason could be a uh, plugin conflict it could be that you're having conflicts you know a lot of plugins are working against each others and all of that and once you run this uh, optimization it is going to sort all that out for you Another reason could be team conflict. If you're having several teams working on your website and on your on your WordPress website, and they could be conflicting each other, and then you'll be having that. So another update, another issue could be another one could be updates on Elementor. Maybe your Elementor is outdated. You've not run a patch. You've not run an update on it, and it could be conflicting. Then check your file commission, your contact host provider. You should have to work on that then another way of resolving it is by reinstalling elementor if if this method still didn't work for you if the method we use still didn't work for you you may want to consider reinstalling your elementor okay if you reinstall elementor it is going to resolve the issue so this is very this error 500 is very peculiar with uh wordpress it's uh an application side issue and mostly occurs in the server level you know typically it is costly to plug in team issues corrupted files ht access files you know database catching issue catchy issues hosting issues or due to you know if you did your own coding if you use php then php memory limit so but the good thing is that whatever caused the issue this wp optimizer is going to help you uh check what the problem is and solve it but however if you're not if our solution didn't work for you please you can as well try uninstalling your elemental and then reinstalling it back but if this worked for you please drop a comment on the comment section let us know if you have other problems we could help you solve don't forget to subscribe to the channel share this video to other people so that they too can benefit thank you